Okay, let's see if we can do this here. Alright, so what we're going to do first is design sew quilt, start new, pantograph, enter manually. Your table runner was 24 by 24, but we're going to add, put 60 for the width, 60 for the length, continue, finished. I went to Patterns by Helen, and used the Petal Curl Continuous, Continue even rows, continue. I put the row height at say four and a half, zoomed in, filled the gap, finished. Since we're doing a panel graph, we're going to do except for continuous. Now you would end up marking on quilt for your first row that you can that you can quilt if that makes sense. But we're going to add a block, add a block, standard block, load from the block catalog, the octagon shape, continue, zoom out, change the width to 24, change the height to 24, finished, finished, and let's get rid of some of these patterns that we don't need. finished. Um, now we're going to modify the block, the octagon, so you can continue, move, and see now you can move, you've got a big pantograph, so you can move so whatever looks pleasing to you. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, Maybe move it up just a little bit more. So these here four rows are kind of in the center. Finished. Finished. Add a block. Add a block. Clipping block. And you're only going to choose the patterns of what you can quilt in that one pass. So, this one, and say let's do this one, because it's only like four and a half inch height. Continue. Now you would end up marking on quilt in that red area. So you would, you would go beyond your octagon, maybe up along here, across here, down here, go beyond the red lines and a straight line across. Since I don't have it on the long arm, I'm just going to select the existing block, continue, and it clipped only the patterns that I chose. Then hit finished, and since we're going off the edge, continuous, accept, yes, finished, sew quilt and then you would select this first pattern continue select this one continue stop to cut threads sew quilt we're not using anything in the adjust so just push finished 
continue, start. Now it's just going to quilt those two sections there that I chose and did it as a clipping block. Guess we can speed this up a little bit. It's at the end. You stop to cut threads, move over to row two, hit start, and quilt it. Now what you can do is put it in preview mode and see what it looks like. And then when this gets done quilting, then you advance your quilt, realign, and we'll do another one so you can see again. Okay, let's get rid of this this one up here too. All right, finished. Um, add a block, add a block, clipping block. Select the next ones that will fit in your quilting area. Continue. And you're going to mark on quilt. And there again, you're going to come up this side. Just go beyond your your um, table runner. Go up here, straight across, come down a little beyond your table runner or if it's zigzagged or whatever, come down, go beyond this here, two patterns because you don't want to clip them off, even go across in this blue part. But we're going to do existing block, continue, and it clipped it off just on the two patterns that you chose. Accept. Yes. Finished. Sew quilt. Now you're going to choose this one. The first row. The second row. Stop to cut threads. Sew quilt. We don't need the adjust se sequence. Continue. Start. Just move this out so you can see. So it's only going to quilt those two rows and it will stop at the end. And then when these two rows are quilted, then you advance it, and then you'll do the same thing again for the next rows um, of the panto that will fit in your area to quilt. So I hope this helps you out a little bit. We won't go through the whole thing, but this one would quilt too.